Citizens insurance holders get ready for a possible double-digit rate hike come November. Just hours ago, the corporation's Board of Governors approved a statewide average increase of 14.2% for all personal lines. Eight on your sides, Nicole Rogers joins us live in St. Pete. Obviously, not what home homeowners want to hear, Nicole. Josh, Stacy, it's really not, but here's the issue. Citizens is supposed to be the last resort, but nowadays it's not. It's the largest insurer in the state of Florida with private carriers dropping customers left and right, leaving the state, let alone their major rate hikes. More and more homeowners are opting for citizens, and that's a problem. I've been a teacher in Pinellas County Schools for going on 40 years. My wife was an administrator there for 38, retired. Joe Fabrizio always wanted to live on the water, a dream that came true just under five years ago when he bought this beautiful home in St. Petersburg, something he never imagined would be short-lived thanks to homeowners and flood insurance. We've got to sort of reassess what we're going to do as far as trying to stay in our house. Like thousands of other Floridians, Fabrizio's insurance company left the state, dropping him as a customer. A lot of those policies have, have ended up in citizens and so it has really swelled citizens to a size that it was never intended to be. In 2019, Citizens Insurance had over 400,000 policyholders. Now, well over a million. So in an effort to cut that number down, the corporation is raising rates, an average of 12 to 14 percent here in the Bay Area. But HH Insurance principal agent Jake Holhouse says it goes far beyond that. What we're seeing is most policies are increasing 20 or 30 percent to keep up with construction inflation. So you take that 20 and 30 percent and then you add 12 and a half percent, let's say, and now you're really talking a 45 to 60 percent rate increase. And so it's that compounding effect of rate that has a lot of policyholders alarmed right now. What does this mean for Bay Area homeowners like Fabrizio? For flood and homeowners insurances combined, he will need to cough up another $255 a month. The middle class has taken a beating, and this is part of it. Now, if this gets approved by the Office of Insurance Regulation, it would go into effect on November 1st. But make sure you stay tuned here on News Channel 8. Coming up at 6, I speak with citizens and ask them the question, was this double-digit rate increase really necessary? Live in St. Petersburg, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.